He was born in Tennessee, grew up in the Philippines for a brief time, about five years, went to John F. Kennedy High School in La Palma, California, my alma mater, same place I went to, yes, yes. I will not tell you who is older. I'll let you make up your mind on that one. Uh, he's been married 21 years, has three, chil has three children, heavily involved in all of his children's activities, heavily involved in volunteering. Um, he sings, dances. Um, he loves to go hiking. It's a big thing. He loves to go hiking. He is our property and casualty insurance representative from the CIA. Please welcome Eric Evans. Let's talk about some insurance stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, right before you is a um, actually for um, Dr. Tran. This is a test. You got to look around. Look who's squinting. Look who's holding us three feet away. And you got a whole list of prospects in this room. So anyway, I want to talk a little bit about the CIA what we do, how we compare with the carriers we have to the rest of the world, because um, the carriers I have to the right of the CIA, AAA, Farmer, State Farm, Mercury, they kind of make up the bulk of, of the insurance here in the state of California. So, and I, you know, I've been doing this for about two years, and some of you go, I guess, I don't know what he does, he sells insurance, how does it compare to the, everybody else who spends millions and millions of dollars in commercials, I don't know. But, so I wanted to answer that question today because that was the question on all of your minds, all of them, <laughs> without exception. So I want to go through some of the highlights here. Um, you see to the left are kind of the topics and, and, sort of, and I look at those as sort of important to, um, to all of us. Um, some could care less, some could care more, but the bottom line is it hits the median of those of us in the group. So vanishing deductible, I want to go from the bottom top down. Vanishing deductible, I have uh, three carriers that offer a vanishing deductible on your home. What does that mean? Well, generally what that means is you have a $1,000 deductible, some have a lower one, some have higher, but they generally would knock off 100 bucks a year as long as you're claim free. So when you think about, gee, I've been with such and such company for 20 years, that means I could have a zero deductible on that gigantic claim. Yes, that's exactly what that means. And generally, your home insurance should be used for major stuff. Like I had a pipe leak a week ago. I know how to fix the pipe myself. Sorry, Chris, you're not here, but I can do that. Fix it up in the attic on my belly, dust, hot. Oh, it was terrible. I lost five pounds, Gil, right up in there on the roof in the attic. But uh, you know, I took care of it, cut out the drywall. Got a guy coming over this morning, fix the drywall. Done. It's, it's like 400 bucks. I didn't call insurance. I knew better. It's like, anyway, and then that. Water sewer backup, that's a big deal. We have aging sewer pipes. We have cities and counties broke. They were not gonna be cleaning those out on a regular basis, etc. If we have a major rain um, that fills, our, fills the sewer lines, etc., with water, and everyone's flushing and showering simultaneously, and suddenly you kind of go, what on earth is that smell, or what's coming out of my sinks, or what's coming out of my toilet, filling up the bottom of my house, that's water sewer backup. Most carriers will exclude that specifically. Those of you State Farm, that lower uh, lower left-hand corner box, it talks it, it, on the front page, it has your coverages on, on the right, on your premium on the right, and your exclusions and listed uh, coverages on the left. It will say specifically, water sewer backup excluded. You can get it, but it's always excluded. Most of those agents don't add it because they don't think about it. They don't do it. I add it by just because it's not an inex not an expensive coverage. So when you look to the uh, to the right. AAA doesn't have it. Farmers, it's optional as of this year. State Farm, it's optional. Mercury is no. Rate issue options. What I mean by that is, a lot, uh, this is a weird year for insurance. A really weird year for insurance. So those of you who want to spend five minutes at night because you can't sleep. I want to see an interesting topic. Insurance companies are going broke. They have untold billions of damage back east from this last week's storm. Um, it's going to be even worse in 2013. But what happens is there are rate filings happening in California. You will see your rates go up. I don't care how long you've been with your carrier, how clean a driver you are, how claim free you are, rates are going up. Because insurance companies are running about 102, 110% of their income. And when you run in the red, the tune of 2 to 10% in your insurance company, the, the commissioner is the one that says you've got to raise your rates because they can't allow them to be in the red for too long because they have to keep the pool of money to pay claims out with uh, full. So just be aware. And the point of rate issue options, I have multiple carriers. I have about 15 carriers on the personal side. That, so when you say, oh my gosh, Eric, 
I added my 16 year old or my friend added a 16 year old, the rate went up 1500 bucks. Great, let's shop it. And I've done that for people, I've saved them money because I have that flexibility. None of the other carriers have that flexibility. Um, they just don't. Um, all peril, uh, that's an important topic because uh, when it comes to home insurance, most, most of the guys on the, to the right of me, with the exception of um, farmers that just, again, started something this, this last year, it's called a named peril policy. In plain English, it means if, they, if it's listed, it's covered. If it's not, it's not. Really simple. And they'll list the major stuff, and if you just go through a couple pages of your policy, you'll see that electronic copy, just say, covered. Or, and so they'll say, oh, it's, you know, it's water, but it has to be a pipe that suddenly breaks, lightning, wind, stuff like that. Weird, quirky little things like the squirrels that got up in your attic because you didn't trim those trees that Terry told you to trim. Um, they wreak havoc in your attic, start chewing on wires, chewing on pipes. They'll exclude that. They find that, oh, you had, you had vermin. Excluded. Farmers specifically excluded. Um, and so you have to be aware of that. I write the policies, the majority of the policies I have, they're what we call open peril policies. So basically it means it's the flip side of that. Unless they say it's excluded, it's covered. So they'll exclude earthquake and flood. You know, obviously everyone does as well. But that's a huge difference. And if you look, who has that? No one has that. Farmers has a kind of a HO3 plus. HO3 is the name peril. HO5 is the open peril. For, it's it's, it's uh, insurance to speak. But I write that specifically because I know if I get that call at 3 in the morning, um, I'm not going to sweat. And I neither should my clients. I say, look, you're covered. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, just protect your family. Go to the hotel. You'll be good. The other, um, the other big deal is, uh, well, a couple of them, personal injury. Personal injury, if, if you have kids or your friends have kids or your, your kid has your grandkids and they are in that 12-ish age range to college age range, and they're using computers out of your home with your IP address, if you don't have personal injury insurance, you are asking for huge, huge problems. Because this day and age, kids that get idle, they do little funny little things. Things such as setting up a new Facebook account for that girl that stole my boyfriend, and I'm going to get her. And that happens all the time. Not only is it illegal, but it's a form of bullying. And this bullying this day and age is, you know, the real hot topic. And you hear about suicides left and right. These teenagers that don't know how to handle their emotions and they're jumping in front of trains and off buildings and all this crazy, awful, awful stuff. But guess what? If that comes to roost in your home, oh my goodness, you are in big, big, big trouble. Personal injury coverage covers that. It protects you. So if you have insurance, say you're three or five hundred thousand dollars in coverage on your liability policy and a million dollar umbrella, you don't have to stress what's going to happen when that family that's distraught over their deceased child or just emotionally wrecked child who's in counseling for you know for the next however many years. It's just it's not. I'm not trying. To, I'm not over overselling it. It's a real fact. Just again, spend a little time googling that kind of thing. It's a big deal. Most people don't have that coverage. If you look personal injury, injury to the right. Triple A doesn't have it. Farmers, it's optional. State Farm, it's optional. Mercury does not offer it. So it's optional. Again, they don't put it on there. And unfortunately, a lot of agencies these days, especially they've been around for 20, 30 years at the same address, they get lazy. And if, unless you know about this kind of stuff and don't say, hey, I want personal injury coverage, they're not going to give it to you. They're just not. So I'm run, burning my time here. ID theft. Fastest growing crime in the country. If your policy doesn't cover it, you're going to get burned. You can spend 240 bucks a year per person with um, the LifeLock, or you can have 25 grand in coverage with most of my policies that I, I sell. No one offers it. Farmers does on a regular basis, and it's optional with State Farm. Jewelry. Um, I had a question the other day. My one of my clients lost her tennis bracelet. And I said, well, is it a Tiffany's tennis bracelet or a JCPenney's tennis bracelet? You know, it's everything in between. She said, I don't know. Her policy covers 5,000 limit jewelry, 5,000 per item. Most policies, it's less than that. Far, uh, Mercury's is 1,500 per item, 5,000 in coverage. I have um, one of my policies that's allied with a little extra little checkbox. So you get up to 10,000 per item in total coverage without a floater. And that's you know, gets down in an English speak, and I'm burning on my time here, so I'll um, uh, quickly go through monthly fees. I've got a zero dollar monthly fee thing, and I'm gonna kind of brush through the autos because most of this stuff is already covered up top. But most of you folks are like, gosh, do you, does your company have 
you have on carriers it does what everybody else does and the answer is yes lifetime on repairs 800 customer service all this stuff I have companies that do that some even better than that so at the bottom it's what do I offer I have all the personal line stuff you know the auto home condo renters toys um, all the business stuff, big buildings, little buildings, apartment buildings, investment properties, fleets of vehicles, workers' compensation, etc., etc. I've got it, and I cover it. And I, you don't see life insurance, health insurance. It's on my card. I don't sell it. I mean, Crystal knows I, I, I <coughs> it up. I, I don't do that stuff anymore because I want to focus on what I'm, I'm good at and what I, 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 my core is, which is property casualty, things you see here. And I already ran out of time. Ding. So, <laughs> all right. So, thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Yes. Quick question. That's right. Gil had 11 and a half minutes. Go ahead. The flood insurance? Yes, flood too. So, we're not obligated to buy from the California flood district thing? Well, the way flood, flood is all written through FEMA. So, whether you go through the carrier that's named on there or an, a third party, it's all written up through FEMA. They're the big underwriting guys in the sky. Okay, so that's a separate policy for flood insurance. Okay. I wonder if you can get a, a bid from you. And you can't. It'll be the same rate. There's no rate differential unless you're grandfathered in on, a flood, uh, on the flood zone that you are in. Like some parts of Fountain Valley have certain flood zones that have changed over the years. So, I wasn't flooded. I wasn't. Oh, exactly. It's all over that. Your neighbor is flood zone, you're not, etc. Last question. Mr. Oh, EPLI? Oh, uh, EPLI? It's, it's key because what's happened, what happens is. Um, uh, employment practices liability insurance. A lot of policies will add 100 grand without underwriting. Uh, EPLI is key because a lot of times these days employees will say, uh, oh, he made me work through my lunch. Uh, oh, I'm emotionally distraught because of the situation. <laughs> it's a form of personal injury coverage, but it's very employment related. And if you ever dealt with an employee, employee issue, it's a Pandora's box. It's good to have. The average, um, average settlement is about 20 to 30 grand. And it can go up from there. Thank you all. Good time.